child abuse jury trial begins, Sheboygan Coal Fire Power Plant shut down, students earn failing grade in English math. These stories and more coming up on Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister and welcome to Community News Review for Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018. A jury trial is expected to begin Wednesday morning for a Sheboygan man accused of punching a 16-year-old in the face at a home on South 13th Street in November of 2016. A criminal complaint says Angelo Merritt was arrested after he arrived at the home, accused his wife of cheating, and confronted her about money. He then went to the teen's room and confronted him for lying, threatened to sell his TV and PlayStation, and then punched him in the face, chipping his tooth. A doctor determined that the teen's nose was also broken from the punch, and Merritt is facing up to six years in prison if he is found guilty. As Alliant Energy transitions to natural gas power plants, the company has shut down Edgewater 4, the coal-fired portion of the power plant in Sheboygan. The Wisconsin State Journal says Friday was the final day of operation for the 49-year-old plant on Sheboygan's lakeshore, and it will be replaced with a plant in the town of Balot that is scheduled to come online in 2020. Last year, the Sheboygan power plant burned almost 950,000 tons of Wyoming coal, which generated enough power for about 200,000 homes. There is a newer 400 megawatt generator at the Edgewood that continues to run. This is the third coal plant that Alliant has closed since 2015. The fall rut is here, and that means more deer will be trying to cross Wisconsin roads. State Patrol Safety Program Chief Randy Rominski says that you always should keep alert, especially when driving down a two-lane highway. Deer can be active at any time of the day, but especially around dusk or dawn. And if there is more than one, then there are probably more. Romanski says that the usual ro rules of safety apply, slow down, avoid distractions, and don't swerve to avoid a deer. Leaving your lane for any reason could take your vehicle into oncoming traffic, and that is something all parties involved would like to avoid. Swerving can make you lose control of your vehicle and veer you into oncoming traffic or solid objects on the roadside. Romanski says that the safest option is to stay in your lane, brake firmly, and maintain control of your vehicle. A leader in the state legislature says Medicare for all will not happen in Wisconsin, no matter who wins the race for governor. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says that Tuesday there is no way that the state will expand Badger Care to cover everyone. Buzz told a crowd in Madison that Democrat Tony Evers' plan to expand the program to everyone in the state won't happen and would be blocked by legislature. Voss says no way, never, at the Madison Business Luncheon yesterday. Buzz says that the state can't cover the cost of Badger Care as is, and adding more people to the system, even with an increase in federal aid, would make the program even more unaffordable. He said, I don't want m more people on government health care. Some had suggested that accepting additional federal health care funding could be the key towards budget compromises, if ever. Who is leading in the polls defeats Walker. Boss says that if Republicans retain control of one house in the legislature, they will block any rollback of Walker's initiatives over the past eight years. 
Governor Scott Walker had rejected federal money to expand Badger Care when the Affordable Care Act was approved. Walker noted that the expanded coverage would be permanent, while funding to the state from the Washington could change from one budget to the next. Public school tests show that less than half of Wisconsin students in grades three through eight are proficient or better in English and math. The results released Monday show that the benchmarks haven't been met in the previous two years either. 40% of students were proficient or advanced in math and English. That is ab about 1% from a year earlier. Wisconsin continued to have one of the largest achievement gaps between white and black students in the nation. Nearly 50% of white grade school students scored proficient or better in English compared to just 12.7% of black students. More than 455,000 students across the state took the forward exam between mid-March and early May. And finally, they will be playing the Colorado Rockies in the best of five matchup with game one set for Thursday afternoon at Miller Park. Colorado advanced by beating the Chicago Cubs 2-1 in 13 innings in the NL Wild Card game on Tuesday. Pre-game coverage of Thursday's game on WHBL begins at 3.30 p.m. Pre-game of game two on Friday will begin at 2.40 p.m. Game three on Sunday from Colorado will be heard on sister station 106.5 The Buzz with pregame starting at 3 p.m. Games four and five, if necessary, will be played Monday and Wednesday respectively with the start times to be announced. And that is all we have for today. Join me again next week for another recap of our local news. From all of us at Community News Review, have a great day. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.